Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my videos. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I just go about painting uh, the Prussian land there from Warlord Games. So I've got a couple of boxes of these and I want to start a bit of a new project so why not? They're hard plastic so I've assembled them with a mixture of the caps and the shakos. I don't know if this is historically accurate but I like how it looks. Um, so I've assembled the entire box and then I move on to priming. I prime all of the models with a light grey surface primer and I like to use the Tamiya sprays. All the paints I use can be found in the video description. Okay, so to get started I'm going to paint the coat of the model using Formula P3 XR Blue, although to be fair any dark blue will do. Once that's dry, I'm going to give all areas that I've painted blue a wash with the Citadel paint Nolm oil. Next I'm going to paint the trousers on the model and I'm going to base this with Corax White. I can paint these various colours from light browns to light greys and whites but I always use the base of white first. Once that's dry, I give the trousers a coat of the contrast paint Apothecary White. I now use Black Templar to undercoat the shako and the shoes and anything else that's basically black. I'm now going to use a little bit of the Citadel paint Abaddon Black and I'm going to paint the plume on the shako and the peak on the cap just because they're made of slightly different materials. Some of the models have this wrap around them which would be used for protection so I'm going to paint this one with Skeleton Horde and I'm going to put a couple of coats of this on just to get a nice rich colour. I'm now going to use a fine brush and I'm going to be using the Citadel Paint Corax White to pick out the straps on the model. Once dry, I'm now going to wash these with Apothecary White. I'm now going to use Corn Red to paint the facings and the cuffs. I want to paint this unit as if it's from the Rhineland and according to the leaflet in the box that meant they had red collars and facings and yellow buttons. For the models that are wearing the caps you're also going to want to add a red band around the cap. I'm now going to highlight all those areas I've just painted red with the Citadel Paint Evil Sun Scarlet. Okay, now I'm going to use Gore Grunt of Fur and I'm going to paint the water skin on his back and also the axe cover. I'm going to use a detail brush now and white scar to highlight all the straps. Moving on to the flesh parts now, I'm going to use a detail brush and I'm going to give each area a base of the Citadel Paint Pallid Witch Flesh. Once dry, I'm going to give all those areas a coat of the contrast paint Gilliman Flesh.
Next, I'm going to use a medium flesh tone. I'm going to use Formula P3 Midland flesh just to apply it's the first layer of highlights to the cheeks, the nose, and the upper areas of the face. For the final highlights on the flesh, I'm going to use the P3 Paint Rin flesh. I'm going to base the whole of the musket, including the bayonet, with the Citadel Contrast Paint Wildwood. While I'm using the Wildwood, I'm also going to use it to add some shading onto the cloth. Once that's dry, and really make sure it is dry, I'm going to use the GW Paint Lead Belcher and I'm just going to pick out all the metalwork on the musket. I want some of the silver detailing to stand out a bit more, so I'm going to use Chrome from Vallejo to pick out the cross on the Shaco and just a couple of other details. I'm going to use Corax White just to base his hair. I'm now going to give the hair a coat of Gore Brunter. I'm going to pick out the buttons on the coat using the Vallejo colour Sand Yellow. For the eyes, I'm just going to use Corax White and a fine detail brush just to line those in. For the pupils of the eyes, I'm just going to use Abaddon Black and I'm just going to try and put these to one side so it looks like he's looking in, off in one direction. Nearly done now, and like all my models, I'm going to give this an all over dry brush on deck tan just to add a bit of wear. Finally, I'm just going to add some of the Vallejo thick mud mix, and I'm going to put this on his trousers and the bottom of his jacket. And he is now complete. I finished the other five models that are going to be on his base at the same time as I was filming this, and here they all are. I varied a few of the colours a little bit, but stuck to the general scheme. I base all of my Napoleonics on the 60 by 40 bases from Renedra. Um, so to get them ready, I just put six drops of super glue on the base and I just fit the models on how I want, usually ones with any distinguishing features I try to put at the front. Once the glue is dry, I just like to give the base a coat of brown paint, and I just use paint from a DIY shop out of one of those tester pots, I can't even remember which one this is, and that just adds as a nice undercoat for what's to come. Once that's dry, I'm going to use the Luke APS basing glue, and I'm going to paint that all over the base. I just like to slop it on and then move it around with an old brush, and we're going to get that all around. Once the glue is all over the base, I'm going to dip it into some of his base ready range. I'm using the Scrubland sex, it looks a bit alpine, and then I'm going to set it to one side to dry. Once this is all dried, I'm going to add some homemade grass tufts onto the base and a couple of flowers just to vary it up a little bit. Um, he always seems to get stuck to the tweezers here.
and that's the base complete and it really doesn't take very long as you can see I've tried to vary what some of them are wearing by mixing in like tan and brown trousers um, black boots and just a bit of cut, odd color here and there just to give a bit of variety all in all this base took me about an hour if you exclude the drying time for the, the base itself um, and now it's ready to join the rest of the unit which I finished off as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this I'll leave some photos up at the end and I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you guys again soon cheers <laughs>